Hello everyone, my name is Peter Kamennyuk and in this video I'm going to make you an offer to improve in using your musical instruments with my help. We are talking of improvisation. I'm a qualified violinist. I got polite academic training in a music school and then in the academy and conservatoire. My teacher's aim was to make me a specialist in teaching and interpreting music. I was taught to play by note, perform music of composers of the past and interpret them according to the traditions of music. I should say that the Soviet and post-Soviet musical education has brilliantly accomplished this mission and still does a great job in teaching music. I have eternal gratitude to all of my teachers for the skills I've got and for making me a part of the world of classical music and the rightful member of the wonderful community of academic musicians. I've had a chance to work with a large number of different genres of music, from operas and symphonic orchestra performances to duets, trios, quartets and solos. This is a very important part of my career. Now let me tell you a brief story, which is in fact a childhood memory of how I discovered improvisation. Back in in 1982, when I was only 12, I went to the violin class in a music school and was very passionate about it. I wasn't forced to do that by anyone. I've decided to connect my life with music in my early childhood and regarded myself as a real musician. My cousin, who just returned from the army, was studying his own first rock band. He had a beard, read Kerouac, wrote song lyrics, sang and played the guitar. I paid great respect to him because I considered him to be a really mysterious person from the undiscovered and appealing world of rock and roll, the Beatles, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin and other awesome things. When he came with the suggestion to record his song together, I was in cloud nine. The thing that he played uh, to me was in C major with the country like scent and <coughs> praise love of beer. This was the moment I asked him, okay, then what am I supposed to play? His answer was absolutely terrible. Why are you asking me? Who's the violinist here? You've got ears, so play something right now. You get the tune, so go ahead. So there we go. It wasn't like I had never played the violin without note. I had already tried to play something similar to my favorite compositions of Chacone Vitali type or I don't even remember what. However, it hadn't come farther than just a couple of bars as the right consonances were picked, found with a great effort, memorized and repeated. I could say that it was a trial of composing. Despite that, I couldn't imagine playing out of hand just like that. Anyway, refusal was not an option. To lose my face was the last thing I wanted. So I just closed my eyes and jumped into the unknown. We turned on the tape recorder, my cousin got started, I squeezed my eyes tightly and began to play goodness knows what. I didn't have the clue how it was going to turn out. In other words, I was sure nothing good was coming out of it. Well, almost sure, because uh, hope strings eternal. To my surprise, when I played the recording again, I discovered that we matched for a pop. Of course, it was more of an accident than a result of my neck. Nevertheless, the, this couple of sentences was a vital experience for me. I got the proof that this kind of thing was at least possible. That was priceless. From this very moment, improvisation has become my craze. Though at that time we simply called it playing by ear. I wasn't alone for sure, as many of my classmates, colleagues and my friends musicians thought of the same thing. I still remember that the ones who were able to simply play some popular tune or play a theme on keyboards were much respected. I was a part of it too as I did the same with my guitar at backyards or at riser blocks or flats. But it wasn't the thing. 
When we had our notes in front of us or had to repeat something by memory, that was the time when we felt free, when knew what to do exactly. When we didn't have any baseline, we got petrified. A bit later, when I got familiar with the world of jazz, I knew that it was called improvisation. When the experts talked of it, the fact that it was something special was obvious. However, all my attempts to identify it were unsuccessful. I couldn't say that when speaking of improvisation, there are two types of people. Once regarded as something next door to magic, something that required inborn talent, Others claim that there is nothing supernatural about it and that anyone can do it, that just using the pentatonic scale. In later curriculums of college I had an opportunity to get lots of practice improvisation by performing in restaurants, vaudeville and nightclubs, weddings and funerals. What is more, in the late 80s, rock music was thriving in Russia. In 1987, my friends and I founded a band called Dadiko and began to play our songs at different rock festivals and concerts. There were three of us, we were studying violin, keyboards and double bass in a music academy. Of course, we tried to use our academic skills in a new way. Actually, I should say that our music was greatly appreciated and soon the band became pretty popular at the time. We created our own musical parties and for me this was a wonderful training in improvisation. Frankly speaking, when I listen to most of our past performances, I understand that the things that kept me going were my youthful assuredness and self-will. These features let me achieve quality over quantity. Also those wonderful and creative people uh, who I was working with gave me great motivation to proceed. I had quite a few attempts to find a teacher or to do some self-learning, but nothing came of it. The lessons I had with jazz musicians and as we know, jazz is the noon of improvisation, were more of an explanation of genre basics. Teach yourself books had a more mathematical approach. This means they offered a range of vocabulary and analysis of jazz improvisation, samples and techniques of the jazz masters and some explanations of harmonic and other peculiarities. I did understand that this was useful. However, this didn't match my intuitive view of what improvisation really was. In addition, if you were using those methods, you were expected to concentrate only on jazz specifics, which were not easy to understand on their own and required a certain level of acquirements. I, as many other musicians, wanted to be able to improvise, but jazz wasn't the only thing I identified with as an artist. But without any doubt, I couldn't imagine ignoring it. The person who gave the first couple of lessons was a well-known jazz man from Novosibirsk, Vladimir Tolkachev, the musician from a popular Gypsy Swing Band of Reinhardt's, Mike Reinhardt's Swing Band, also had a huge impact on what I create. I had a chance to play with them when I was in Germany in the 90s. There were plenty of other artists who affected me in a good way. Those were the ones I've met at different rock and jazz fests in clubs and restaurants. Of course, they didn't actually teach me. I had to learn on stage, but still, it was an instant transfer of best practices. Anyway, the process of getting more fluent in improvisation took decades. The idea of sharing what I already knew about improvisation with others crossed my mind 15 years ago thanks to a well-regarded teacher of mine, uh, Alek Abrin. I'm really grateful to him for encouraging me. I really liked this idea and started looking for a suitable method of working with other musicians. And you know what? I found plenty of new stuff I haven't heard of before. Some of the things I've discovered were really interesting professional methods. I pay great respect to those who worked on them, but I couldn't ignore that the two vital things were missing. 
Firstly, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't find any evidence on driving from the deadlock and getting reassured about one's abilities. Secondly, there is a lack of simplicity. I was looking for something clear and simple, something that would have been useful for me at my early stages. I was in search of such tool that would let you progress without having to go deep into some complex terms of conservatoire research degree level. The one that will make it possible to play by ear, or in other words, the one that will let you improvise. The only right way was to create a new method, which would have been helpful for me back in 1985-1995. Most importantly, this method should work out for both professionals and those who don't have that much experience. I wanted to create something suitable for those who have set themselves to becoming a jazz man and those who don't want to focus on this one genre alone. The main goal is to give anyone a chance to be able to improvise. To speak the truth, the process of creating my own method was not a walk in the park and took quite a long time. I've had quite a few ideas and tested them out on other musicians, some of which were my friends and students. After doing a big work on it, I finally found a simple and effective method of teaching. I've had to work with all sorts of students, from amateurs to fully professional musicians. It brings true joy to me to see the eyes of a person who is making progress, though they thought that they'll never be able to. Also, it is very empowering to notice how the improvisation of your musician is becoming more deliberate and vibrant as they're getting a deeper understanding of the process. I really enjoy sharing my experience as we play together. All of this is very dear to me. So, what do I want to teach you and how am I going to do that? My definition of improvisation would be simple. Improvisation is the ability to formulate your thought by playing a musical instrument in real time. You might be a professional who can read music easily, but becomes petrified when there are no notes and you'd like to get rid of this limitation. Otherwise, you may be an amateur without a degree who likes to play music with friends and wants to be able to express yourself. Maybe you've had some experience in improvisation and want to master it. I will do my best to help you achieve your goal. With my help, you'll manage to get the skill which appeals to musicians of all levels. You'll no longer be just an exponent. You'll feel the joy of on-the-spot creation. I'll teach you to improvise. The method that I'm going to offer you is quite clear and understandable for anyone, be it a real professional or a person who does music for fun. The goal will be reached under three conditions. First thing is going to require strong motivation. You should be willing to succeed, be optimistic and trustful. Second, you need to have a suitable extent of fluency in using your musical instrument. Don't click off the video now. We are not speaking of some extraordinary skillfulness. Fluency is a multi-level thing in this particular context. The level of fluency you already have will define the amount of time you are going to spend while trying to achieve the goal. However, an artist with a limited skill probably won't be so relaxed and concentrated on the aim. Finally, the last condition is your inner composer, I.C. That's what I call the capacity to have musical flow on the level of your inner sense of pitch. But don't be worried. The majority of musicians have it without even realizing that they do. This way, your studies shall begin with the identification and development of this flow. There is something that I can guarantee. Those of you who are at the onset of your musical career will have a good start. 
Those who are more mature will get a lot more freedom in improvisation and make a quantum leap. Here are your prospects. You can watch fragments of my performances and studio recordings on my YouTube channel. In addition, you can get more familiar with me as a musician by visiting my website peterkamenev.com. You are welcome to look up some materials, listen and subscribe. Finally, I advise you to do the following. For those of you who are ready to make a decision, there are different forms of studying that you can choose. A course which consists of five video tutorials for individual practice, online group sessions and face-to-face -face online lessons. To make your choice, click on the link The School of Improvisation. They will find all the information you want to know. For those of you who need more time to make up your mind, I offer a free online tutorial where you can ask questions and get my answers as a test drive. Well, friends, thank you for making great company. I hope that I will meet you once again and I'm sure that it will be very useful for all of you. Goodbye. До свидания.